The Earth's atmosphere stretches from the surface up to a height of around 6,214 miles. Thereafter, it's impossible to tell the air from space. While experts vary on the exact altitude, they all believe that it's somewhere between 5 and 9 miles above the Earth's surface. In spite of its importance, oxygen doesn't really make up a huge percentage of Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere of Earth is made up of nitrogen, 78.1%, oxygen, 21.1%, argon, 0.9%, and other gases, 0.1%. Gases including carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and neon make up the remaining 0.1%. It is possible to divide the atmosphere into five separate tiers based on temperature. The troposphere is the lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere, spanning a distance of about 5 to 10 miles from the ground. The troposphere is thickest toward the equator and thinnest at the poles. The troposphere may hold as much as 80% of the atmosphere's total mass. Most of Earth's clouds exist in the troposphere, which includes the bulk of the atmosphere's water vapor as well as dust and ash particles. It is cooler in the troposphere farther up too. The stratosphere is the second highest layer on Earth above the troposphere. The tropopause marks the upper boundary of the troposphere, and this layer continues upwards for another 30 miles. The temperature of the air increases as we reach higher altitudes or levels in the stratosphere. The majority of the ozone layer in the stratosphere is composed of ozone, a molecule made up of three oxygen atoms. Since this ozone absorbs some of the sun's energy, the air becomes warmer as altitude increases, safeguarding all life on Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation. The transition from the troposphere to the stratosphere occurs at the stratopause. Above the stratosphere is the mesosphere, which reaches up to about 53 miles above the Earth's surface. Temperatures in the mesosphere decrease with altitude because of the atmosphere's layering structure. To be more specific, Upper mesosphere temperatures consistently hover around minus 90 degrees Celsius, making it the coldest part of the atmosphere. Even though the atmosphere is very thin here, we may still see shooting stars due to the meteors that burn up in the mesosphere. The mesosphere is found to end at the mesopause. About 372 miles above the mesopause is where the thermosphere begins. Temperatures are thought to increase with altitude, but beyond that, our understanding of the thermosphere is limited. As a result of the sun's rays, the upper thermosphere may become as hot as 2,000 degrees Celsius. The outermost region, known as the exosphere, merges into the void we recognize as space. Here, in this zone, the weakened gravitational pull of Earth makes it possible for gas molecules to escape easily into space. There you have it, the atmosphere what it is, how big it is, what it comprises of, and how it's crucial for sustaining life on Earth. Feel free to subscribe. Also, sharing this video can help me create more content on the things you enjoy most. Thank you so much for watching. Stay fact out there.